Good morning. I'm making this video on purpose. I know it's really um, very dim, but there's a reason for that. Uh, I've been up since about 4.15. And here's my question to you. When's your quiet time with God? Well, mine is early, early in the morning. In fact, it was so dark, uh, I couldn't even start the video until I got a little bit of light. Here's what I see now. The heavens. The sun is starting to rise. Usually you would be seeing the mountains over there, but we have a lot of fire smoke coming in. Anyway, I spend my time here with Jesus, the Trinity, praying myself, using myself, and the divine will. And you see my little headlamp, a trick taught to me by my friend Trina. Thank you, Trina. Uh, I'm going to turn it off so I won't blind you. Um, and I do um, my prayers. I have a prevenient act that I pray, and I also pray. You can't see it very well, but it's the volumes uh, written by Luisa Picaretta of the Divine Will about fusing ourselves with Jesus, fusing ourselves with Jesus. This recording now is an invitation to you. Ask the Holy Spirit, when's the quiet time that you're going to have with God? And I'm not talking about, oh, five minutes here, five minutes there. When I was first asked to wake up early and spend quiet time with Jesus, when I earnestly asked him um, after an invitation to Matthew Kelly, um, when are you being asked to spend your quiet time with God? That was about four or five years ago. And I heard five in the morning. I'm like, Holy Spirit, do you not know my schedule? I'm going to need a lot of sleep. Well, actually, I don't. I don't when you dip into the wellspring of grace. In fact, I'm being fed so much by the word and my prayers that I'm praying with Jesus, to Jesus, um, my prayers in the divine will, that I, I don't feel like I've lost any sleep. I, in fact, <laughs> quite the opposite, rejuvenated. So it's your invitation. When is the Holy Spirit telling you it's going to be this time for your quiet time? for God. In fact, I was so rejuvenated at 5, I wanted to do 4.30. And from 4.30, I wanted to keep going to 4. And even more, I can't tell you how glorious this is. Am I fatigued later on because I didn't get the amount of sleep I needed? Actually, no. No, I am so fed. I am so rejuvenated. I do have this energy uh, given to me by the wellspring of grace. The Lord told me one time, it doesn't matter how much sleep you have. When you dip into the wellspring of grace, this is your invitation. Dip in today to the wellspring of grace. Go and have your quiet time with God. And receive that daily dose of spiritual oxygen. All right, you take care, my friends. God's got this. He's got you. Take care. Until next time.